Hello and welcome back everybody. Thank you for joining us today. We're in for another little ride with our group of the Natural Wonders. In our last episode, our group managed to uncover a lost tomb covered from floor to ceiling with glyphs of an unknown language that they have been attempting to decipher alongside Ash Gray and Borodell. Upon entering the room, Nihilus went on a little item hunting quest, a uh, little item hunt for parts of a what appeared to be a sphere, as Ash Gray called a Rosetta Stone. Upon retrieving all the pieces, several suits of armor began to walk freely within the hall. <clears throat> they then attacked and nearly killed several of the members of our group. In the meantime, Nick was doing a little bit of deciphering of his own, trying to uncover exactly what the transport, the teleportation circles were. After a little bit of time and a little bit of leeway, the armors, hostile armors were put down. Nick managed to rejoin and continued to his little deciphering within the glyph room. Nihilus and Dracaria are tending to their, their wounds with the Goodberry Cauldron. While Bordell, Ashgray, and Morgana are sitting near the stone pedestal. We will begin with Nihilus and Dracaria. What you doing? Trying not to feel so bad, man. Right? <laughs> feel real bad. Do you still got a headache? I guess I, I got a headache. Yeah, feels like I've been pounded by several metal plates of armor, you know? Right? Oh my gosh. You think that's all there is to this place? Just uh, uh, some fragments of some, some stones? Well... Considering that the stones of armor were trying to beat us up for taking the stones that you were looking for, I think there's a lot more to this place than just stones. Seems like it. Seems weird for them to go to all trouble to uh, smash apart some sort of uh, uh, lexicon to, uh, to then protect it so well. Well, I think we're onto the right track. Well, considering it looks like this place was forgotten about, so. Nothing's ever forgotten for long. Apparently, since Ashgrave yeah. and Bordell knew about it. Well, yeah, see? We'll probably <laughs> find even more. Alright, I'm gonna fill up my flask and then head back with the rest of them. You joining? Yeah, yeah. Feeling better? You reckon how much how much good berry juice do you think would would fit in this bag? In what bag? No, nah. nah, probably in the bag. the bag. Never mind. Don't the worry bag about of it. holding that you're holding? Yeah. <laughs> I mean you could probably fit all of it, but then where would it like land? It just land in everything. Well yeah. And then we would have it, so. <laughs> do what you gotta do, man. Cool. Never mind. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Nick? Hey, man. You still transcribing? Uh, yeah. There's, like, a shit ton of language in here. So... I'm probably going to be here for a long minute. I'm going to be writing most of the shit down, and then I want to take it back to camp. And I'm going to probably fuck with you for a while. I think this can uh, help us with the teleporters. Okay. I'm making 
making my way back to uh, with everybody else. Yep, yep. Over back to the other three. As uh, Bordell and Morgana, you are tending to Ash Gray, who seems to have fallen asleep. Uh, um, I've already killed him a few times, right? He's good. He seems um, to be asleep. Which I think is for the best. He tends to be a little headstrong with with things. He means well. I'm gonna head over to um and uh say, Hey Nick, uh, what are you doing over here? Yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm writing down language. So I can uh, try to figure out whatever this book is. It's uh, I, I think it predates history. All right, I'm just gonna sit down next to him and like relax the game. I uh, all the fighting. Rick goes up next to you and sits. <laughs> you guys still puppy now. <laughs> I pat his head. It's like the size of you. <laughs> okay. So after a little bit of resting, now it's you. Are you partaking of any of the good berry juice, or are you trying to store it? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm like taking a short rest and fully just like, like. Smooting uh, the good berry juice into my uh, mouth. I don't have any like flasks or water skins or anything, so I can't really <laughs> carry it. Okay, we'll say for that short rest for you, you're up uh, with the aid of the good berry juice, you're up to full. After a little, uh, after a little bit of time, you're feeling a little bit better about yourself. You feel a little bit better. You're not so ringing in your ears so much. Good, good. Um, I'm gonna join the uh, the rest of the group. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, help um, Nick Dick uh, decipher any of the um, any yeah. of the lexicon, <laughs> any of the uh, Rosetta Stone. It's not the stone that it's it's I'm more or less taking a copy. Hey man, uh I'm more or less taking a copy of all of the writing in here because I think we're gonna need a base of the writing and then from this if it is a stone that can help us translate, uh it's gonna help us translate what's already in here. And I don't wanna stay in here. So fuck it. I'm gonna copy what's in here and then get my lazy ass out outside. Makes sense to me. Let me know if uh, what I can do to help. Uh, Nick, or uh, if you want to take a wall, that would actually help. Uh, Morgana, if you actually want to take another wall, that would help too. Yeah, sure. Fine. Yeah, because then uh, you know that six-sided, that six-sided wall. I would assume ceiling, bottom, and then four walls. So each of us get two sides and get it done a lot faster. Like I'm it. over here with Ash Graham and all just chilling. Yep. How long does it take him? It's going to take him a long time to actually try and transcribe all the writings. Because, as I said, it is the glyphs are floor to ceiling, and the ceilings are at least 15 feet high and it's just glyphs all across the surfaces but Bordell or uh, yeah Bordell speaks up Mr. Karia if you would keep an eye on my little friend yeah uh, I'd question. rather that's some good berry juice I think he'll appreciate that where'd you get that 
Is that back in the other room? Yeah, the, the, the urn that we saw with the liquid inside. Yeah, that's healing the fairy juice. Huh. I was curious about that. Well, yes, uh, if you can help him with that. I'm going to go check it on the others and see if they have any new news. Okay. You had a question? Uh, are there ruins etched in? Or are they flat? They're carved into the wall. Fuck yes. Uh, this is going <laughs> to be way easier. What do I have? Uh, what do I have? Hey, uh... Hey, Nihilus. Hi. What do you got that's, like, big that we can... Oh, fuck, we got to talk on a fucking, uh... We came here on a caravan, right? Yeah. On carts, not uh, on a caravan. Uh, do, we, do we have a tarp? Like a, like a white cloth? A big white cloth? There's some coverings on the carts to, pre to, to provide some cover from the sun. I would like to... in. The old kid trick, I would like to imprint. Okay. You're rubbing. Yeah, as in, like, rub shit on it to, like, make the imprint on the cloth instead of us copying it. We just do a big imprint on it. Call it good. Let's get this going. Uh, Bordell comes around the corner. I see you are all already hard at work. It's fantastic. I have a question, though. You mean? Has anyone seen uh, the other pieces of the stone? I haven't seen any myself. It was it got a little chaotic in here? Um, I haven't really seen anything, but let me just look around really quickly. Can I do an investigation check? Uh, sure. Roll investigation. You look around for a little bit. Uh, based on the level of dust, you see footprints. Some from the armor, some from your group. And there are voids in the dust in, in a strange shape but no stones oh well, i can't find anything you guys just uh yeah nothing really Milas, Nick, uh have you two found anything i mean are, uh, oh, oh, i mean I besides are we, the ones that, the that i've already found oh you found them oh uh, yeah yeah Oh. Hello? Well, isn't that in interesting? Where, where, where have you been? I was doing what you were doing before. Before the armor. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I spent some time asleep there for a moment. And, uh, I guess, I guess I lost track of time. Oh, dear. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I should be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't mean to stop you from your transcribing. I think this might actually be a boon for us. So, uh... But I think... You think it would be a good idea to actually see if we could piece the stones together? I don't know... Hey, fuck, fuck, hey, fuck that idea. Hey, you get that fucking nonsense out of here. Let's it's a magic to do stone that, in uh... a magic area, and there's runes all over the place. We're going to fucking activate something, get transported somewhere else... Bad fucking idea. Get your bad fucking ideas out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like probably, poking him in the shit. He's really right. Like I, I really didn't like touching any of those at all. They were, they were really not fun. I'm like poking him in the kneecap in the uncomfortable spot where it like moves your kneecap upwards. <laughs> Ew! I hate that spot. See, <laughs> doing it. I mean, I mean, I, I under, I understand your concerns. They're valid. Yes. However, isn't solving this language and uncovering the truth 
at least in regards to history, far more important? It, it, is your life worth it? Yes, actually. Well, then he, 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 you can do it. I drop the bag and I like, fuck out, peace out, let's go, weak, Nick, Nick, out. Yeah, I've, I've got the idea. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Mage Hand to put them together. Uh oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mage Hand can't really lift them. Oh, are they no. more than five Too pounds? Heavy. They are yeah. 25 pounds each. Oh my goodness, how was I carrying that? You stuffed them in a bag. Why of did you give me that? Oh, I can carry that. Never mind. <laughs> no, it was a great idea playing I with stones in a bag of things. holdings. Oh. Oh. All right. Well. I'm going to go put these together then. If we can complete the Rosetta Stone, we can unlock all of this. So Bordell takes a bag of holding, heads on back. Wait, hold on. So time out, time out. So everyone is staying in there besides me. Oh, well, I left, but it's only Nihilus, Morgana, and... Oh, shit. What's it? Fucking... Morda. Which one is it? Mordon. Morgana. It's only you three in there? I already said Morgana. There's no. Ashgrey, Dracaria, Bordel, and Morgana are still in the glyph room. This is, not, this is not a good idea. I'm down with the idea. Where else should we put it together? I already left, so I'm, I'm not in there. Fuck off. <laughs> All right, I uh, I feel like my mind is more used to touching these than anybody else, so it's it's gonna be me. I'm gonna do it. I'll offer myself as tribute. <laughs> <laughs> May the odds be ever in your favor. Okay, so well, Nick, you go off and do your own thing. Uh, the rest of you gather around the center pedestal. Uh, the stone structure, where one of the fragments with a bl a blue gem is inserted into the piece. You drop the three other pieces uh, into the center bowl and try to assemble it in in a particular way to see if they all click. And strangely enough, they actually do. As the stone segments actually seem to fuse together. Forming a solid sphere of stone and glyph. To which then gives a small pulse and levitates from the bowl. Let's see. I need... Ooh, did we figure something out, guys? <laughs> and as the stone sphere levitates, the room begins to shake. Just oh, man, he was fucking feel right. The runes on the sphere begin to glow, independent and random. And then the runes on the walls and the floors seem to mirror those reflections, those glows. The sphere then begins to grind as stone against stone slides and the runes are shifting up and down left and right spinning 
almost like a puzzle, almost like a uh, a round puzzle sliding into into place, figuring itself out. It goes faster and faster. The runes glowing brighter and brighter. The shaking increases as pieces of armor vibrate along the floor until the sphere comes to a stop and, be, and lets off a small hum. All the runes on the sphere are lit. All the runes in the room are lit. And you are engulfed in a bright blue light. Uh, yeah, do I see anything uh, from him? He was, he was right. We shouldn't have done that in the room. <laughs> I think this is the dumb idea. Not done, just uh, Not done quite yet, but... Did I see anything from the teleporter? From the whole circle, the, the thing in the room? Uh, the circle, not so much, but some of the runes in the skele in the skeleton room are actually starting to glow as well. Say that again, you cut out. Some of the, the skeletons are what? In the skull room. With the obelisk. Uh -huh. The skulls that have runes on them, on their foreheads, are glowing as well. That's oh, like no. out, that's like out, out though, right? That was in the second room. Did you straight up leave the glyph room? Well, yeah, I left the glyph room, but I would be in the room with the bears. The bear juice. Yeah, those skulls are lighting up. Oh. Uh... Okay. I look at the portal, I'm like, Ooh, you dumb bitch. Yeah. Back to the others. <laughs> Your vision is engulfed in this blue light. You blink and close your eyes for just a few seconds, but then you open them to see that you're not in the glyph room, but in a small home, the walls made of sand and clay. You're sitting in a chair and in front of you stands a table with a bowl of fresh corn gruel that wafts up to you the smell of normalcy and nostalgia. There is a crackle from a fireplace just off to the corner next to your bed. It makes you think it's going to be a cold night and this will be nice and comfy. You're just about to begin your meal when you hear a strange sound come from outside. Almost like a horse call, but distorted. Curiosity taking hold of you, you stand up and walk to your door. Opening it and looking outside, only to see a black-shaped four-legged creature stampeding towards you and a flash of white of a blade coming towards your head. You blink again, and now you're running down the streets of highly decorated buildings made of the same clay and sand, etchings and drawings detailing life of your day-to-day -day lives. Your heart is beating in your ears as you are trying to get away from the monstrosity that is chasing you. Turning a corner, you believe that you have managed to escape until you've bumped into a large bodied creature with green skin and sickening pustules covering the entirety of its body. It grabs, hold of your, it grabs hold of you with its large calloused hand and lifts you up into the air and grabs your legs with its other hand and then begins to pull. You feel your back begin to separate. Your skin and Ooh. muscles of your midsection begin to tear. And you try and scream out, but only to be muffled by the creature's thick skin. Uh. <laughs> Your body tightens, and you feel yourself stretching to its utmost limit. Then there's a slight ease in the pulling. Until the sensation is doubled and you hear your flesh and your skin tear in half. 
You blink again. And now you're running, surrounded by dozens of people, all different races, screaming in a panic and crying out in fear. As you're running down the, cent the central street, as you hear a loud, slow flap of wings in the sky. You look, you look up, and you see a beast covered in blue scales and fleshy wings, long neck and tail, its talons and claws covered in shades of red. There's a glow, a bright blue glow coming from its throat until it lets loose with a deafening roar and your vision is engulfed again in white light. Your vision returns. You are now on a balcony, looking over a sprawling cityscape in the middle of a desert. The city is engulfed in flames. The air is filled with the screams of your people. Large reptile-like creatures with different colors scouring the rooftops, unleashing waves of flame and flashes of lightning. Your vision pulls back, revealing a tall, tan-skinned half-elf with strawberry blonde hair. He turns and focuses his bright green eyes on you. You hear his voice come in a wave, ethereal, filled with rage and sadness and grief. My name is Mikhail Krauser, and I may be the last king of Barbest. I apologize for what you have seen, but one must do what they can to preserve their people, especially when one is sacrificing everything. My world is at civil war with itself. Its people are at each other's throats. And so are our gods. Our lords of creation are at odds with each other. Brother against brother. Myself, along with the other kings of the realm. Along with the one who protects us. Are attempting to seal the lords of creation away allowing this war to come to end. I do not know if this will succeed. The orb is an acting as an anchor and it must remain intact. The room you are in is the repository of truth, which contains the true accounts of my era, as well as the pillar of confinement. Whoever you are, you must listen to my words. There are other places like this, other tombs of sealing across the entire continent, each with its own repository, each with its own pillar. There are nine in total. To whoever hearing this, your world is in grave danger. If you hear my voice now, then the one of the lords is free and is on the warpath. He will bring his harbingers under his banner and sweep across the land, bringing either dark justice or death to all of you. You must find the tombs and you must seal away this monster. You must save your people save your world do what we could not and your vision fades into darkness the continent of falsea itself comes into view as nine glowing lights emanate across oh look at that Convenient link. Okay. Sorry. And your vision. Artist is making me cry. 
<laughs> your vision darkens again. You open your eyes, and you're back in the glyph room. But it's not the glyph room anymore. The runes and the glyphs now make sense. Everything is cleared. You see exactly what is written on the walls and the floors. To you who are in this room, you have now gained the language of Empyrean. Oh! E-M-P-Y-R E-M-P-Y-R A-E-N Oh, sweet. That means I can use my, um... You write it down in the uh, chat? I gotcha. Hang on. My comprehend languages now. <laughs> we didn't even have to comprehend it because we just know it, man. Yep, it's now currently in the languages that you know. Sweet. I dig it. What? Uh, Bordell kind of breaks the silence. What? What just happened? Oh, I think we just got sent on a grand journey. Sorry. This is beyond a great... This is beyond anything I expected. But that's... Did that seem more like a warning? To you. Sorry. I can't figure that out. I'm not gonna deal with it. <laughs> uh is everyone alright? I think so. I'm still in one piece, right? Yeah, you are. One hundred percent one piece. <laughs> What do you think this means? Um, sounded like a warning, and... Might give credence to some of the rumors we've been hearing about, about uh, insurrection uprisings. And a word of caution, I guess? This, like, is, this is beyond bewilderment um, to me. There are more gods than Bannon. Yes, and that actually poses a major problem. Ah. Heresy is nothing new to me. Nah. Well, I guess, should we start to these other places? Those nine other temples, I guess? Um... I believe we should leave for now. I'm a little overwhelmed with what we've seen. We will, uh, I, I, I will have to come back along, along with, oh, and he's still asleep. Along with Ashgrave, see if we can transcribe these walls and actually have written history now. Sure, wake him up. I mean... I think he needs the rest. Mordell? Or, excuse me. Wow. Uh, Bordell kind of kneels over uh, to Ashgrave. Shakes him a little bit. Here, give, ah, him ah, ah. give him this, and I hand him my flask. The fuck's that? It's ah. healing juice. Drink it. All right. Oh. Oh God, my head. Drink it. I had the craziest dream. As he takes a swig. 
It felt. It felt weird. It felt real. Did anyone? What? There's the stone is fit. What? 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 As he looks yeah, around, I to, and his I face, to break his, right, but... his face goes pale as he's now beginning to notice. That he's actually that he can. He's in the same situation. He now, he now understands everything in this room. Uh. Okay, I think we're done for the day. I I need I need to uh, we need to go we need, we need to go. And you just Ashray, woke up, mate. Come on. Ashgrave gets up oh, and man. begins to walk. Uh, over to Nick. Unfortunately, since you weren't along for the ride. I just saw that? these scroll the skulls light up, and that was it. Like, how long did that take? Just a couple seconds. But now the glow has dimmed down a little bit, and now they they are just lit. The runes have this uh, just this outline of a blue glow. Dude, dude, the skulls are lit, dude. <laughs> uh, so I'd be like, whoa, 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 man, hey, 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 and then I'd like see him pop up, I'd be like, what, what, what the fuck happened, man? The, the skulls are on fire. I mean, okay, I'm guessing oh, you, okay. I'm guessing you missed the wild ride, Nick. Oh yeah, yeah. I knew I was gonna do something. I just didn't want to get trapped. Well, boons for me, and unfortunately for you, we know the language now. Oh, did it like just get? Sh- Shoved into your head or something? For lack of a well, better term. For lack Where's of a the better stone? If you want to learn, I'd suggest you go in the other room, Nick. Ready. Where's the stone? It's there. Well, it's still in the room? It's still there. Uh, I re-enter the portal. Yep. Hey, I heard you guys uh, took a trip. You were going for a fucking second. Yeah. It was uh not very pleasant. Let me tell you. Yeah, I'm mentally yeah, tired now. I need to go take a nap. That's what you fucking get for, uh, you know, activating the trap. I warned you. I bet <laughs> now you're stuck in something, huh? You gotta go do Nick. something, don't you? Nick. What's up? You definitely need to see what happened with these stones. You need to go through it. Oh, that sounds creepy, and I'm good. You know how you want ultimate knowledge? Yeah. We'll this will give you more knowledge. Much- so much. Hmm. I, I like I finger the stone. You finger the stone. <laughs> <laughs> Only one finger. Yep. Only one. I take it slow. The rest of you don't really see anything drastic happen. But Nick. Hello. You go through the same wild ride. You see the same visions, the same catastrophe, the same death and destruction, and the same warning from King Mikhail. And what seemed to go Uh, on for hours, you're right back where you stood. You also Matt 20, do I know any of this history? No. None of none of what you've none of what you have seen was ever recorded. Have you learned Did how I, to read know me, boy? Uh. But as you're looking around the room, 
You see the glitch. I want to be look. I, 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 I touch it again. I do the same thing like in the portal, remember? I have the vision. I get through the room and I immediately step back out and go through it again. I'm going to do that again. Do I, does it happen? Not this time. So now I'm just slapping a stone egg. You're just, yep, you're just slapping the Rosetta Stone, but as you're looking at the stone, the language is actually making sense. And what you look at it, what you assume to be archaic and, and ill-structured is actually poetic. And, and the structure is fluid in a way that you're not yet used to. But the structuring definitely makes sense in the way of how to use the language to your advantage. As in? You are not, you should be able to actually rework the teleportation circles now. But how does the link, like, explain? I'll use the glyph room circle as an example okay as you look at uh, this the circle is written in glyphs and as you look at it the structure comes out as such by movement of energy and flow of time we shall receive ourselves unto the totem of truth and bind ourselves to fate. So it's a, it's more or less a, so it's not necessarily a teleporter. It's just a spell. Essentially, not unlike uh, the usual teleportation circles that you've seen, where it runs into like a destination, uh, uh, and like iconography and geometrics this is literally word for word teleportation circle does that make sense i mean yes and no is it is it i can ask discord questions later go ahead move on Hey guys, can we go take a nap now? I'm tired. I believe that, I agree. Yes, that, that that's the best idea. So are we going topside then? Yes, let's go topside. Uh, does anyone notice me leave? Because I do not. I will stay in there. Okay. Continuing to study? Yeah. It'd be silly not to study now that, you know, you can actually read what's on the walls. Next thing through the uh, skull room, uh, what do the glyphs on the skull say? They appear to be names. Ooh. I'm gonna hang out here and wait for... Never mind. I got you. I realized what I was doing. <laughs> um, yeah. That's pretty much it for me. All right. So the most That's of you, head, so the most of you head on back topside. Uh, heading on through this, uh, through this uh, mausoleum and back through the the general caves, and as you head on out, you expect there to be sunlight, but really the sun's barely even risen. How long have we been down in there? Shouldn't it be like past noon or something? Yeah, you what, think. I thought. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe the circles had something to do with it. Pass 
Possibly. I'm tired. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one. We, we need to get back to town as soon as we can. I agree with you, Nilos. Let's uh, get out of here. Nick. Um, or, sorry, Nilos, go ahead. Are the runes in the... Uh... What, what kind of stage is the uh, temple as we leave it? Is there, are they ruins or? They're the same ruins. Okay. okay. Nothing's really changed. Okay. The time of day seems a little off for how long you've been down there. Uh, Nick, what you doing? Hello. Uh, I'm reading what's on the walls. Okay. So what you're getting <clears throat> is again very, very poetic and very fluid. But the gist that you can come up with. I say fluid as in like it's it's it, it can be read in multiple directions. Like what do you mean by fluid? Poetic. Very sing song. Well, Let's put it that way. Sing so sing something like a, as in it rhymes or as in it has like a metronomic tone to it as in like every glyph has like uh, uh, I guess the best way to describe it would be like a uh, like a, a a rhythm. Yes. Two two three two two three two two three. Yes, it seems to run in a almost. Okay. Rhythmic poetic uh, phrasing. But what you can, can get, I... what you can get from the general translations that you're seeing on the walls, it's actually detailing the very beginning of everything. How there were, there was one god whose name was lost to time. who became annoyed with the level of regularity, how things just seem to keep going the same way and want something different. He decided to split himself into two beings to, get, to have an outside opinion, so to speak. And they went for eons, creating world after world, attempting a sense of balance, a true sense of creative beauty. And that was where the world of Falsea came in. Falsea was a true balance of land, of matter, of spirit, of being, and of living things. They both worked together to try and form the living people of the world of Falsea. The lizard folk, the cat folk, elves, gnomes, halflings, humans, half orcs, all the living races. And then they attempted to create separate beings of a lower caste, lower intelligence, the general animals. And then they noticed that those that could handle themselves were hunting those that could not. And one decided, one of the two brothers decided to take hold of justice, to regulate law in the world, while the other determined himself to be the, uh, the controller of choice, the one who allowed free will. And that seems to be the majority of what you can get. Okie dokie. Um, I would like to then go out and meticulously take apart the, that teleporter outside of this room that's in the pot, the, the berry pot room. Okay. 
I'm going to take it apart piece by piece. Okay. The one leading to the glyph room? Yeah. Cool. I see what you're doing there. Yep. Uh, how long does that take, and uh, would Morgana be awake by the time I get back? Um... I still got the bag of holding, so I put everything in the bag of holding. Yeah. Would I be awake? Is that what you mean? <laughs> yes. I would, I would say... Probably. I'm not planning on sleeping yet. I'm trying to figure out how, how, to, how to do it. I would say, if you're trying to dismantle the circle... Roll a d20 and add your intelligence proficiency, please. Uh, roll. What am I typing this? Forward slash roll d20? d20 plus your proficiency and your intelligence. Okay. That's a d20. You're essentially using your tools to just dismantle the circle, and there's no real check that I can think of. Can I, just, can I just roll an intelligence check? Doesn't that just add my... Intelligence mod to it. Well, see, you're you're dismantling something, so it would be. Whoa, that okay, that was weird. I don't know why um, I didn't send that, but you're not exactly the strongest, so it oh, takes yeah. you um, a couple of hours to actually uh, break apart uh, the entirety of the circle. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, once I'm allowed to get outside and talk to Morgana, yes. Okay. So after the couple of hours pass, you now have the dismantled teleportation circle completely separated out, and you're stowing that in the bag of holding, yeah? Mm-hmm. What type of this is just a level one bag of holding, right? Yeah. Well, I am okay. <laughs> I can't live in it yet. <laughs> Technically, you could, but you'd only have ten minutes of of uh, being able to live in it. But it's not. Yeah, it's not big enough for what I would like it for. A hey, uh, home and a half, or well, home and a best <laughs> basically. <half>. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely would fit my character. But you all head on out. Yeah, what do you guys do for the next couple of hours? Read my book. Uh, Bordell and Ash Gray. Begin setting up camp a little bit. I'm tired. I'm going to take a nap right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dracaria, you're, you're passing out? I'm passing out as soon as I set up camp. Much, much, much. Uh, Morgana, are you doing anything? Um, I'm going, I'm not going to try to like be, but just kind of like one of those like sleeps where you're like kind of sitting up and like half awake, if that makes sense, but half asleep. <laughs> yeah, I got you. You know, like, like a, like a military sleep. Like you're asleep, but not really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got you. <laughs> And I'm going to do my normal thing and just read my book. Everyone needs to stop talking about sleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you all wait around for a few hours uh, until Nick finally pops out topside. You see, Nick, you see uh, everyone seems to be resting. Uh, Bordell and Ashgray seem to be talking amongst themselves. Uh, Dracaria is asleep, Nihilus is reading his book, and Morgana seems to be asleep. 
sitting against the cart? Um, I think done there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, took apart that teleporter. Put that in the bag. Cool. I'm gonna fuck with you. Uh, where's uh, this one, guy? I'm gonna. I need to help. Are you broke up there? Really? Like, what did you say? Uh, I'm like gonna walk over to you and like tap you. Like, hey, you uh, you awake or are you sleeping? I'm um, like, uh, I say it quietly. I was like, I'm not trying to like purposely be a dick. <laughs> um, um, hey, can you uh, can, can you help me with something? What do you need? Uh, I come over here first, and I would I would like to go in into a wagon where we're concealed. Okay. Uh, the car's... Am I about to be Flash? Uh, you wish. <laughs> this is Nick Dick. <laughs> Welcome to Nick Dick, baby. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, hey, so uh, I I got a stupid idea. I need, so yeah. I need to talk to your daddy-o. I need to talk to your daddy I need you to strangle oh, me yes. until I'm dead. I'm down. Uh, are you but, sure? But, Wait, yeah, but you gotta make sure to bring me back. Yeah, don't don't be one of those people. I trust you. Uh, how do you want me to bring you back? Nick. Uh, he, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give her my gun, my crossbow, and I'm gonna use know, the spell but... cure cure wounds. You don't know any of this. I know. I'm not gonna metagame. I'm just Asking I'm going to uh, hold the crossbow onto my chest he know that and like positioned it that. like this. So all, I'm going to be like, all you got to do is just pull my finger. Okay. Pull my finger and just bring me back. Yeah, I can do that for you. How long do you need? And should uh, I? I mean, don't leave me dead for too long. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not going to be good for me. Give me your time I'm limit. Bit, I don't know, like a few seconds? Seconds? All right. Yeah, I'm going to be dead. I mean, I don't know. If you want to talk to him, I wouldn't assume it would take a few seconds. Uh, I don't. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't want to risk I'm it. I'm good. Well, okay. let's say, like, just count to, like, five, five Morganas. Okay, five Morganas. I'll do that. Done. Uh, I, like, take a deep breath. <laughs> I take a big chug, I take a big chug of my fucking flask, of my fucking, my alchemic jug. Uh, I like, prepare myself to like, sit down, to get strangled, and then I point my like, crossbow into my, my stomach. I'm like, <sighs> Okay, let's do this. I'm pretty sure what that, you would strangle a note. <laughs> and you're not, That's not fighting. fighting. I mean, I'll, I'll fight a little bit towards the end, but not a lot. Without breaking your neck, I strangle you. <laughs> uh, will check to keep my composure to let her kill me. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty good. <laughs> uh, Josh, this is all up to you. Yep. <laughs> I'm building the scene, so give me a second. <laughs> this is the last time I feel. You're an evil genius. <sighs> Okay. That's hopefully the point. So, are you ready? Uh, sure. We'll find out. <laughs> find out if so, I end up in the right place. As you feel <laughs> her hands grip around your throat, you feel your blood begin to stop going into your brain. There's a slight panic in your body as, as you go into flight or fight. But you understand that you're, you you need to do this. You have to do this. You need answers. So you fight on through and you let your brain slowly begin to shut down bit by bit. Your eyes begin to roll into the back of your head. Your body begins to go cold. And you black out. Do I need to make a death? <laughs> You hover in the dark. Your body weightless. I look down to see if I have clothes. 
You are clothed. I get naked. <laughs> I figure you, where I'm going, it's going to be hot. You look up and you see bookshelves. You look down. You're at a table with parchment, quill, and ink, and several books. You've been here before. At least you think you have. All the libraries you've been to have all looked the same. Rick is sitting right next to you. Ever present. Always looking. You remember that you were trying to jot down some notes. When you hear a voice come from behind you. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle if it isn't little old Nick. Are you fucking kidding me? Your audience has attached an actor? <laughs> uh, do I have recollection? Like, do I now recall now that I hear his voice? This is the one you made a deal with. Like, do I can, can I recall why I'm this stuff? What was that? You broke up a little bit. You broke up a little bit. Yeah, my microphone was being dumb. Uh, can I recall why I'm there? This seems to be a. This seems to be a dreamscape. But but do I still like remember like I I couldn't tell like if I've been there before but do I still like have the memory of like oh I killed myself to be here. Like, am I still lucid? Do you get what I'm saying? Am I, am I still in my mu own mind? Yeah, you you know exactly why you're here. Uh, I turn around with my little, little naked self, and I sit on the table, and I cross my legs so we can get a full view of Nick Dick. And I go, hey, man, uh, question for you. So, Were you there when uh, the brothers split? So as you turn around, I'm going to a little, little character structure here. You see a humanoid, red skin, long twisting horns that seem to go forward and then curl back into luscious white hair. Weird, okay. Grinning, pearly white teeth and shocking yellow eyes. He's also sitting on the table, also cross-legged. Well, my little friend, I've been around for a much longer than that. If that's what you're meaning. Yeah, but do you know about what happened? <laughs> oh, oh, I, oh, I know a lot. And you're playing games with me. I know this. I know. I know how you play games with me. Yeah, I would expect you too, son. You've been one of my favorite players. You gave me your soul so without a second thought. What was that? So I got another deal for you. <laughs> what you have to offer. I'm pretty sure one of these guys can break you out, huh? Afraid you're gonna need to sweeten the pot there, my friend. Oh, sweeten the pot as in you get to leave home? Oh, gosh darn. Listen to me. We both want something, and I know you want to get out of here. You're, you're getting tired of talking to everyone up on the top side, and I know you want to leave. <laughs> Aren't you perceptive? Eh, you kept me around for a while. I start learning. So I got a deal for you. When the time's right, my body's your vessel. Hmm. But when you come close to all of that, you absorb all of it, you leave me with a little percentage and you leave. Deal? <laughs> Nick, 
You already gave me your soul. I can take your body if I wish it. And I don't need a vessel to step onto the real world. I, I grab my luscious Nick Dick and I look at him and I go, why haven't you taken it yet? <laughs> <laughs> I did just I did just seduce the, the, the Lord of Hell, yes. Oh my gosh. Nick, as fun as you may be, and as exciting as it would be to take that deal, <laughs> you already involved one of my daughters. Oh, like you don't have millions. Calm down. And I know how you... you I, I can't hear you if you are talking. Sorry, my mic's like really close to my mouth. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, and I know how you use your daughters anyways. And what's your point? I'm pretty sure you're already using her for some sort of angle or gang anyways. So I'm just letting you know. Why not just uh, help me out and help you out? Hmm. Make a persuasion check, please. Uh, I can try. I can try. What? <laughs> Driving the keyword? Yep. I'm a spit fuck gnome, and I look kind of crazy. And I'm naked. <laughs> that should give you a bonus. Should be a <laughs> Nick, as interesting and downright hysterical that deal would be. I'm afraid it's not quite good enough. I have a better one. How about you give me the soul of one of the brothers? And we'll call it. Uh, what are you going to choose? Wait, what? <laughs> you were, uh, you, you, you're not very perceptive there, Asmodeus. That was that was the deal. I, I was saying, as soon as we get close to that energy source, you suck it all up and just leave me with a small percentage, and then go on with your merry way. Hmm. If you want, I can write it down in numbers. Oh, uh, I know you've been around already. See, it's so, the, yeah, fact, was, the fact I, stands that you get to keep your body after I'm done. Eh, but what's the point of a body? Can you get close to the soul without me? Not only that, you also need someone that's willing. Make another persuasion check. Yeah, I know how demons work. I'm still naked and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get any better. See, Nick, I got a question for you. What's preventing me from taking your body right now? Oh, the back. Deal. Killing everybody, killing your dog, and ransacking everything for my own personal gain. Ooh, because you still live by your word, and you're good by it. Otherwise, why else would you rule here? And what as was far my as word, I can Nick? tell, <laughs> your word was to take my soul. And I took it. You are bound to me. My soul is, but not my body. Ooh. And as long as I keep living, you can't touch me. Hmm. And I blow my kiss. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. <laughs> you are an adorable little scum sucker. I learned from the best. Hmm, yes, your father said as much. It does pique my interest, but I try not to show it. He, he, he knows how to do that to me. Nick, I am a very busy man. So here's the deal. I'll agree to you letting me use your body when the time comes. I will take the power of a god and you will come with me. Deal. How about we shake on a partner? I'm good. Last time I touched you, weird things happened. <laughs> I'm not touching the demon. This is worth the law. I'll take it at that. Huh. Well. Consider our contract. Enacted. As you feel this pulse uh. push into your chest, you see, and you feel this burning sensation as the hand of Asmodeus is now burned into your flesh, but then fades away. Done. Uh, I'm going to discord you certain things. Uh, but I wake up. Am I in my position? Still laying down, like the same as you were. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit! Oh, fuck. I like stare up at Morgana. I'm like, ah, oh, am I in hell again, or is that in my back? Uh, 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 uh. I'm just I'm just gonna lay there for a minute. <laughs> uh you you people do your thing. Unless Morgana like talks to me. Does anybody else wanna do anything? Before we move on. Well I'm sleeping, so <laughs> Oh, you're, you're just the best. I like take a big swig and then I hand it back. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> it's yours. No, I meant like, that's for you to drink too. Um, um, I give it back. Other so uh, have you ever met your dad? Uh, well, I don't think he's my dad. Uh... Oh no, he's your daddy. <laughs> what did Zandu say? Just because he was your dad doesn't mean he was your daddy. Or something. Like that. <laughs> just, just because he was your dad doesn't mean he was your daddy, boy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, Bordell speaks up a little bit. All right, everyone. We're going to head back to town. No, wait, what? Huh? What would you say? I was asleep. We're, hey, uh, hey. we're, we're going back to town. We're, we're going to come back later. We
We need to... We need to gather some things up. Hey, yo, uh, Ashgrave. Yeah, that's Nick. Do you got a bag of holding? Not on me. Why do you ask? You got a bigger one back at your place? Maybe. Why? Ash Ashgrave is more technical, right? Uh, not so much like you. Uh, because he's more based in combat and archaeology, he's a lot more like Indiana Jones rather than Frankenstein. Okay, I'm going to ask Ashdale, Ashdale and Bordel. Uh, I'm like, hey guys, uh, when we get back, can we uh, build one of these portals in a bigger bag of holding? I don't think it'd be smart to build it on anything like in the material plane. Hmm. I don't know. Bordell. Will that even be possible? Maybe. My understanding of a bag of holding that's an extra dimensional space. So having a yeah. having a portal in an extra dimensional space might pose a problem. It could. It depends. Oh my god, is this how we're dying again? Right? I'm like, this is like my Theoretically, <laughs> how it should work is it's an extra dimensional space. But if you put a, this portal in this extra dimensional pigs, it should teleport us somewhere else in that extra dimensional place. But because of the bylaws of that, like spatial parameters of the bag of holding, it should force us into a different one. So what I'm guessing or hoping for is what I was going to talk to Josh about, like building this and like the reason why I want to put it into a bag of holding is because it should help us contact a different side or a different version or some way to contact the god as in like why, why why haven't we seen or spoken to any of them and that's why i'm trying to explore different realms different possibilities you know stuff like that so if it's a teleporter inside a interdimensional place i want to make it one that like can branch into other dimensions so i can go to any plane once inside this one teleporter because it's not connected to any of the rest of them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to feed a string into a string system. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not trying to kill everyone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> This no. might need some experimentation, but it maybe we'd have to do it in an enclosed space so it's not to pose any problem to other people. But it should be doable. Is there a reason why you want to go back there, Nick? Uh, it's. I'm pretty sure that is a predate of history place. And uh, if my thinking is right, I'm pretty sure we just travel in time too. That would explain a few things. So pretty sure this is gonna be more useful in the unlocking other different type of knowledge or powers. But we definitely need to keep this on the DL. Oh, that's a very good point. Like, the church cannot hear about this. <laughs> like, make it, I, like, get a very stern face. <laughs> that laugh. Yeah, no, if the, if the, the church got wind of this, they'd literally go on a crusade. Which makes a little too much sense, actually. Oh, this might be bad. We gotta get, we gotta get back to town. 
Yeah, that's also why I closed the portal so no one else could get to it. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to rattle the world. And I love doing it myself. You scare me, Nick, but that's a good call. Uh, yeah, so I agree to pack up the camp and head to town. Okay. So, as you set, as you set up your carts, gather up all your gear, you head on back through the desert. Bup, bup, where did it go? There it is. Your trip back, starting so early in the day, doesn't quite take a long time, as you would th uh, Sorry. It takes you the, the time you've gotten used to traveling back and forth between Holland and this, this site. But it gets to be about dusk. The trip is uneventful. With the cover tarps aid, uh, helping you out a little bit, you manage to stay away from uh, heat exhaustion. And you arrive back at Holland without any much problem. Whoa, what are you doing that for? There we go. But, as you're coming up to the southern checkpoint, you notice that there are more guards than usual. You, uh, you head on to the checkpoint and one of the, uh, the guard captains notices your group. I see you're all back. Was your adventure fruitful? Nope. Yes. <laughs> yes and no, Captain. Be best if we got back to the library. We have some unloading to do. Yes, I understand, sir. But I would suggest you keep an eye on yourselves. Centaurs are coming in mass. Were they black? Yes, a actually. Uh, How'd you know that? Uh, I'm real good at guessing shit. Hey, uh, can you read this? And I like lift up one of the papers that has the writing on it. No. What is that? That is from the ruins outside this town, and it says, lick my ass. You need a better job at uh, running this place. And I walk away. <laughs> You're in the cart? Or are you on Rick? Uh, no, I'm not in the cart. I'm on Rick. But I like, I want to, uh, like, uh, obscure the language. Like, I want to make it, like, seem like this is a joke. I got you. So I immediately, like, discredit it, you know? Yeah. This isn't important. You shouldn't pay attention to this. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> This was just blowing. So you head on in to town. There's a bit of tension in the air. There are a lot of centaurs. A lot of black oh. centaurs. Most of them heavily armored. But there's they seem to be content with themselves. You all head back to the library. I tell everyone to hood up. <laughs> Put your fucking cloaks on. Don't make eye contact with the big fucking centaurs. 
Uh, one of us is going to get a head cut off. Do you want this apple sauce? Come here. I think us staying, staying together might be a bad idea right now. Why? Big congregation of groups, a little suspicious. Okay. Well, then I'm going to the tavern to hang out with some guys and go to sleep. I have some business to take care of, so I'll meet up with you guys later. I'm gonna Actually, head towards the market. I'm gonna go check on my outfit. I'm gonna spend some time in the library. Uh, yeah, I'd like to go back and get that bag of holding. Okay. Because I'd also like to try something else that is up to for you to debate. So, what do you say? You all meet back at the library. We can hunger down for the night. I don't. We're getting a little skittish of everything that's going on all of a sudden. So that's unfair to everybody. That's fair. Great. Meet right. back at the library when? Remember we're done with our personal business? Few hours. Okay. That's where we're sleeping. Should be enough time to say hi to some guys. Okay. Hey, don't fuck with this fucking centaurs. I said guys, not centaurs. I'm making oh, sure there's guys centaurs too. Yeah, I know that. This might be something the old king talked about. Mikhail. Yeah, which by the way, was that motherfucker human? I don't know. Look like an elf to me. Neither do I. You look like one, but that doesn't mean he is one. Okay, well, I'm gonna go get my outfit. I'll be back. Later. Okay, so who's uh, the... Nihilus and Nick, you're going back to the library with Bordell and Ash Gray, right? Yes. Uh, Morgana, what business do you got? Um, I'm on to... I am in trade. I want to go check up on my armor uh, that I've believe. I remember what we decided happened that I should have written this down that he was going to make armor and sell it or something like that. Right. And okay. The, the scorpion. scorpion. So you kind of branch yourself off. Uh, from the rest of the group as you make your way into the market. But you go, yeah, you meet up with uh, the armor smith that you, that you made a deal with before. And he seems to be closing up shop. And he turns around and he sees you. Oh! Also, you're back! Mitt, little missy, you will not believe... What has happened? That armor happened. is going for a lot more than I expected. Do you have any more of this of that shell? Do you have any more at all? Um, I definitely think one of my party members does. You gotta give it to me. Actually, I this armor has piqued the interest of some crazy collectors. And when I mean crazy. I mean, like, hundred thousands of gold crazy. The kind of oh, crazy wow. that you could lay on a bed of gold crazy. I don't know why they want it. This is beyond me. But, shit, if you give me more of that shell, I will make more of that armor, and you have my word, I will give you a big cut. I don't know how much I can sell it for right now, but, oh boy. Well, for now, I just like a cut of what we've made together. And once I have that, I'll bring you more. Oh, oh, right. Uh, you might want to hide this. As he beckons you just behind uh, uh, his, his, uh, his little shop. And gives you a 
pretty hefty pouch. And he says, Don't tell anybody about this. We are normally dealing gold. It's just straight up platinum. I told you, this, these people that want this armor, they were fighting amongst themselves and tossing out numbers that I've never even heard of in my life. I'll bring him here. So he gives you a pretty hefty coin purse filled with 700 platinum. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have a thousand forty-eight gold and now seven hundred platinum. Party sugar mama. <laughs> <laughs> I mean you were for Cosmo at the beginning. <laughs> oh my gosh. He gives you and you see this ear to ear grin of just sheer happiness from uh, from him. It's like, so, you bring me more, more of that armor, more of that, that shell, and you'll get even more money. You have my word on that. Shake his hand. I'll be back with more soon. Godspeed. Oh, 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 oh man. He's, and he starts breaking down uh, his, his little shop. I'm going to head to the library now. Okay. And guess where that's still all on? Or who it's still on all, all on. Mr. Rick. So, Dracaria, you take your way, uh, you make your way back up to the silk shop. It's getting to be a little close to dusk. Uh, you're making way, your way through the nighttime crowd, the nighttime mark group. And yeah, there's definitely a large number of black centaurs making their way through. They seem to just be enjoying themselves, eating street food, having drinks, just just enjoying themselves for now. Uh, you make your way to the silk. You make your way to the shop, and you see the shop owner <clears throat> just needling away. Oh, I see you back. Yeah, I'm back. Good thing too. Yeah. See, what he was working on, he flips it around, and it seems to be a, like a blend of like silver dye and ruby red silk. He's like, please, I think this is one of my finest works. You just try it on. Okay. It, wait, is this? The outfit that I tried that I wanted him to make. You wanted to make? Okay. Um, is there a place I could change? Oh, I am. I am dearly sorry. Uh, yes, just behind, just behind the curtain. Okay. I go, change. And it's skin tight, has just enough of a slit to actually let your tail, uh, be free. Uh, it seems to drape just slightly off of your left shoulder but actually hug your arm to where it won't uh, slip off. And the silver seems to actually be cascading along with uh, the silk. And any light that actually re reflects against it actually seems to bounce up and actually show into your face, actually illuminating you even further. Ooh. Let me see if I can't find the original picture. I know the picture. You know the picture? You can put it on Discord for everybody else to see. I can't. I can't. Put it on Discord. My pictures are being stupid. Slap it. Right? Oh, here we go. So, since this was such an interesting little outfit to make, Guessing we need to discuss price tag. Yeah, how much is it? Well, let's see. Running the numbers. 
it took me a few days along with some of my own product some shrinkage here and there some wear and tear you provide me with plenty of measurements and plenty of extra silk so I could use I'm gonna have to go with 20 gold 20 gold most of my outfits here go for 25 at best. Okay. I give him 25. Very well. Thank you for your patronage. Yeah, I think this looks so gorgeous. I love it. Thank you so much. It looks really good on you, sweetie. Aww. Bet you make some heads turn. Oh, I bet it will. <laughs> Have a good rest of your night. I'm closing up shop. Thank you. I sashay out of there. Sashay. So you head on back to the library, right? Or or you got any other deals you want to do? I want to go get some drink. <laughs> <laughs> Find some guys. She said this. <laughs> no, you did. Let's see if I can. So you're going to stick around. Uh, are you going to go to a tavern or are you going to stick around the market? Um... Go to, uh, go to tavern. Okay. You head on to the you head on to the tavern. Uh, it's packed. There's all kinds of people, all kinds of revelry going on. Are you looking for anyone in particular, or are you just looking for a victim? <laughs> Why'd you call him a victim? Because oh, <laughs> you're on the hunt. <laughs> um, I'm just looking for a random victim, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, make a make a persuasion check. That should not have been at an advantage. Huh? Eh, was it? Mm. I don't think it was. Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah, let me go back to normal. Yep. We will. Mm. I don't like that. Can we use the first one more? So it takes you a little bit. Some trial and error. A lot of the guys seem to be a little drunk and they're a little weary of a ruby red tiefling that's really pushing on them. You're attractive, no doubt. But you're a little pushy. Mm -hmm. after, after some trial and errors, you manage to snag a couple guys. And you have a bit of fun. Are you going to stay at the tavern for the night, or are you going to make your way to the library at all? I don't know if I want to go to the library. It's your choice. No, she's going to stay at the, at the tavern. <laughs> okay. So, we're jumping over back to the library. Bordell and Ashgrave are sorting out the cart, bringing everything inside. After everything's been set and put away. All right. So let's go over what just happened today. We've managed to uncover a whole new language. 
No, so, no, 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 no. Here's, here's what happened. Bannon, what I'm assuming his brother, Bannon got pissed off, banished him, rewrote history, didn't add him in. So we've been living this different history ever since he's been around. Or at least his world. Which, speaking of which, we're speaking about a god. Can he hear us? And I, like, look up. <laughs> Honestly, Nick, I don't know. I usually don't omnipotent, so... Yeah. Records he also are... knows how much you suck in bed. Hey, fuck you, Nihilus. When's the last time you got laid except for a book? He shuts up at that. <laughs> Nihilus is a virgin! No, no, his book gave him love. <laughs> Sweet, leathery love. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's okay, you just gotta close it. On. Not not too tight, just close it just enough, you know? Hey, it's a really good book, man. <laughs> it's a little anyway. sticky on some pages. <laughs> uh, hey, Josh? Yep. I'm not gonna try this now, because this is something I would've tried earlier. If you light a fire uh, inside a bag of holding... Uh, and then continuously throw water on it, and it makes steam. Couldn't you? Con uh, couldn't you basically breathe? No. See the structure. No? Of a, here's the here's the funny thing about a structure of a bag of holding. I was like, the steam wouldn't leave anywhere, so you're just kind of steaming it up. And it, like, could you keep a plant in there? There's like, no what, what by law. There's no oxygen inside of a bag of holding. You're able to put a living being of a most medium size depending on the bag within the bag itself for at most 10 minutes before they suffocate but i'm asking could i somehow produce oxygen inside of it like a plant yeah like as in what you know people do in space <laughs> i mean it'd be possible With plants <laughs> if you have It'd be possible if you have the 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 whole cycle of converting carbon dioxide into oxygen and then reconverting it back into carbon dioxide by having the flame burn it. It'd be possible. It would take a long process. Maybe a lot longer than I would like to spend in D and D world. Because this is talking like, uh, I'm not talking about like years of work. And the size of most bags of holding is only 32 square feet. It's not exactly a big space. Yeah, that's why I was like, I need a bigger one to even make the teleporter in one. So what do we do then, everyone? I'm, for the first time in many years, I'm at a loss. Uh, we need to go find these lights, but I'd like to do something first. Uh, it doesn't involve research. you guys. I, I think I think Nihilus could help me though. Yeah, I'd like to do some research and uh, see if I can discover some new spells. That'd be yeah, but. Um, I'm gonna just read over the notes about the runes and study that. Okay. Well, that's what you're doing. I'm just gonna try and transcribe sp some spells. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna try to learn uh, comprehend languages as a ritual, and okay, there's another ritual spell. I pretty much just pick up some more ritual spells. Okay. Uh, Morgana, what you doing? Um, well, I'm getting back into the library, so I'm just gonna head to bed. Sleep. Actually, false. I wanna go up to Nick. Oh yeah, you're going to the library. Yeah, we said we we're gonna meet up at the library, right? Oh, this is true. We finished up the market, so I want to go to the library and talk to Nick. Hey. Uh, hey, do you still have more of that blue, uh, 
Um, Scorpion. Skeleton. Yeah, I, I think it's on Rick and like wrapped up in a pack or something. Thought we we're gonna do something with it, but we only really did one thing with it and then left it. Um, I have someone who's interested in buying it. I'll give you half the profit of whatever it is. I can go is take it worth it? it? Oh, it is so worth it. You shouldn't tell. What do you, what, what, what do you mean it. by so worth it? Or you come with me to see how much you can make from this. Okay. I follow um, the pretty lady. That's telling me I will get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, should we wait until morning since he's wrapping up shop? Uh, uh, what time I'm... is it? <laughs> yeah. Just getting past. Uh, just getting past dusk. I think it's fine. We can we can talk to him as he closes up. And um, let's try the market again. He might be gone when we get there, but if not, he'll be there tomorrow. Uh, I'm we going to leave Rick with the items in the library because he also has the bag of holding that I'm leaving there with the teleporter inside of it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, the broken teleporter, but I'm gonna try also... to learn floating disc and comprehend languages. Okay. Oh, floating dick. That's a Ooh. slow but useful little spell. Um, that's a level one. Then it moves as fast as B. Oh, I guess they, it's different then. Yep. Uh, da -da -da. It's just uh, the spell creates a circular horizontal plane of force three feet in diameter and one inch thick that floats three feet above the ground in an unoccupied square <laughs> of your choice that you can see within range. The disc remains for the duration and can hold up to 500 pounds. If more weight is placed on it, the spell ends and everything on the disc falls to the ground. The disc is immobile while you are within 20 feet of it. If you move more than 20 feet away from it, the disc follows you so that it remains within 20 feet of you. You can oh my. it can move across uneven terrain, up or down stairs, slopes, and the like, but can't cross an elevation change of ten or more feet. For example, the disc can't move across a ten foot pit deep gap, nor could it uh, leave it such a pit if it was created at the bottom. If you're more than hundred feet from the disc, uh, the spell ends. But what you can do is put it over a nine foot hole gap, and then wait till something big and heavy steps over it. And then spell disappears. Trap door. And then you, <laughs> yeah, you just spell it. Yep. That's a cool. That's a cool little thing. Can do that. Yes. Um, but I'm not gonna do it for that because I'm gonna do it to carry things. That seems like a better use yeah. for it, especially if I like cast it below the thing and then let it like raise up three feet. Yeah. Does it have an AC? Nope. It's invulnerable. It's a plane of force. What? Yeah. It's a horizontal plane of force. Does it say it has to say horizontal? Yep. It's a Technically, tape. it is. Uh, it's three feet across, and one inch thick, and it's slightly bowl shaped. So it's. In that inch of thickness, it kind of like forms a bowl. I'm gonna break that. Okay, <laughs> it's it's possible. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> but you you said invulnerable. Serious. You said invulnerable. Yeah, you really need two wizards in order to do it effectively. Oh, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something crazy with it. Anyways, uh, okay. hey, Morgana. So uh, what? What? What are you? Are you saying this is like a real good sell? Like what happened? This dude just find a good buyer. Uh, just follow me, and uh, I want to go to the market back to the Emporium. See follow if he's me. still there. Don't say anything is stupid. <laughs> do, do you know me? My name is Nick. Dick. <laughs> like I said. 
the second word in my name, I'm pretty sure most people get offended by. <laughs> Oh God! Whew. Is the the market guy still there? Is Joshua? Um, he has unfortunately already picked up. So it's just a stand. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Hey, yeah. Uh, so this dude's gone. So what? Uh, what happened? I have to come back tomorrow. Um, How much money did he offer you? Ah, uh, you cut out. I'm so sorry. I said we're talking platinum, like hundreds of dollars. Wait, wait, what? Hundreds of platinum. Why the? F yeah, no, yeah, I knew that. Uh, why, why, why the fuck are we gonna sell it to him? And it sells at a higher price. But I can make it into armor, and if he's selling it from a stall, then we can sell it from a stall. Okay, well then let's do that. Fuck yeah! Uh, that is that is the plan. I rush my happy ass back to the library, and I'm, I'm excited fuck that this I can middle, make man. it. middleman. You could do this yeah. ourselves. No, oh my god. So I was like, I'm an armor smith. Middleman who? <laughs> Damn straight. I'm Walking back, Nick, I'm gonna tell him, like, let's keep the Josh. Yep. I'm gonna ask a very stupid question right now. You've been doing that all day. How much in game time can we waste? Are we talking a week? Are we talking a month? Are we talking a year? In regards to what? I would like to make armor. Explain to the group why I'm making armor. Sell the armor. Give the group part of the money. And so we are more well equipped and more well magic items. I don't know how to say that in advance. I want more magic items. But there's no other way to spend time to make armor. Like I, that has to have a process, you know? Best thing, yeah, best thing would be to just use your free time as you go. So how much free time can I use? <laughs> However much you want to use. How long is it going to take me to make an armor set? And what's the easiest armor set to make? <laughs> a shirt. A shirt. A, ha a breastplate? Or I guess like a that shell could make a shield. You have the material, you could try and make it into almost anything. Um, I feel like that's a texting type thing. Because I feel like different things are going to take different amount of hours, isn't it? Yeah, it all depends on what you on your, what you want to try and make. Plate mail may be the simplest, but it's definitely the most ornate. So it definitely it would take the longest amount of time. Uh, I would go for multiple items and simple. So I'd make a few buckler shields because that'd be very simple to mold the uh, uh, exo carcasses in like down to one type of shape, then put some sort of handle on it. So that'd be very easy to do. I would do a few uh, breastplates or just shoulder guards, you know, typical barbarian type looks. Um, so things that would typically take one or two shell pieces or exo exoskeleton pieces so I could get more use from it. So I could make more money. Right. I got your plan. And then once we all meet up, I tell everyone else and be like, hey, we're going to make some money. And then we'll have enough money to travel and hit all these destinations. Sound good? I like it. Cool. That's a way. You got a month to prepare. That's a way to stay anonymous. I would say like a month, right? Give us a month to prepare, gather information, like see if, uh, uh why can I not remember these two names? Want to call them like Bolvergard or something? <laughs>
It was Bordell the I... Elf and Ashgrey the Gnome. I don't know why I cannot remember that. Anyways, uh, like, see if they could send out information to the other libraries to find information about these runes, but not about other gods. I think it'd be very, very tricky, or we, we'd have to be very, very careful of what we're asking. So I want to like draw up a map where I saw the runes, like when it flashed our minds with the with the lights. Uh, on the map, which one is that's called? Where have we been located? I'm looking at you. That's fine. Which one is right now? So on that. I don't know if you're on this map right now. Eleanor, I love you. Yes. You're wonderful. Uh, hey, other thing. What other thing? Can I work on a secret project in the meantime? Well, like, I'm making this armor? If you wish. I would like to make an exo-genome skeleton. <laughs> My God. Okay, what do you mean by that? Everyone's going to hear my plan anyways. Fuck it. Okay, so remember my text I sent you? Mm-hmm. Uh, so he, he wants certain things, and that's fine, and he wants me to come with him, but he didn't say what version of me. Um, theoretically, I could transfer my consciousness to something else or keep doing it. Uh, he gave me the ability to make a living construction. I'd like to make a replicant of myself. Hmm. I would know I don't have the pat like necessarily like have the ability yet, but I would as soon like to ask you the ability to transfer between bodies. Like as in I, I, I built a robot version of myself that I could sink my mind into, that I could transfer and go boop 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 and like just have a dead body trailing on Rick. And be like, oh no, my flesh body is hurt. Boop. And then, you know, other tactics. And that was the other thing. I was going to use my flesh body as the, the trap. But that's for future. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to plan very strategically, as you can tell. No, yeah. I, I, can, I know exactly what you're doing. Uh, as of right now, I don't quite know the call to make for that. But <clears throat> as of right now, would it be you're... fine with me starting that exo cell? Is what I'm asking. Uh, to drawing up blueprints and plans, yes, that'd be fine. Yes, cool. I would take that month's time to start this. Okay. Does anyone now else make some other... money, people? Anybody else have anything they want to do? I will be uh, back. I spend I would... um, 100 gold in four hours uh, copying down those rituals. Okay. So I'm in the library I would for a while. like to make armor for the ladies and for them to wear them out. That would be my first two sets. Okay. So if they want to keep them, Awesome, they can wear them, but if not, use them and their smoking hot bodies for advertisement. Okay, that'd be it for the girls to decide. But, yeah. Uh, Morgana, you got anything you want to do before uh, you hunger down for the night? You? Hello. Needed. She just left us. She's going to a better place. Time is talking. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Multiple things. I first thought I really wanted to 
red armor, like the armor ascension to discomfort. The shell is blue. I'm sorry. Uh, we could, uh, since we have a month's time, I could go to a different armor uh, or a different person, and I could get different armor material, and I could make you a red suit of armor. We could trade them, be like, hey, I have this expensive material for this. I'll, I'll give you a flat trade. Um, that's whatever. Um, second thing was, on a map, where are we Uh, I see the the library. Are you? Do you see the same thing? Oh, okay. So not like that. Not like in the world. Ah. Oh. I see. We're we're at the west side of the middle, right? So if you're looking at the map and you see the golden fields. Yes, you're close to Halan and north of Oasis. Alright, great. So then, um... The, the next place we should go is... Crater? This one's called Crater Bay. Crater Bay? Where's, where's that? Crater, Crater Bay is uh, just the west of you, and it's straight ocean. Oh yeah, so that's it'd be in the middle of the ocean. That's where crate, and that's where it is. It'd be in the middle of that bay, yes. So that first golden place was where we were at, right? Yeah. Oh my god. In the golden. Um. Place. In the golden you okay? Place, excuse me. My dog just knocked something over and scared the shit. Oh. <laughs> um. Now he said it, that it, we just need to activate him, right? So like, did we yeah. activate that? Yeah, I think so. I think when you do the rocks and get like a flashback, I think it's going to be giving us a story. So I think that would be activating it. I just hope we didn't miss anything in the room, you know? Yeah. Um, unless Josh. Like a, like a button or a switch we didn't press, you know? Right, <laughs> yeah. Some fucking button we had to go all the way back just to push it. I think super, super obvious. Um, What's up? And you just the teleporter. Yeah, I can. Well, I can build it. I would definitely rebuild it again, uh, sometime. <laughs> um, is there going to be water-breathing magical items in this city to buy, in within the next month? Not in Halan, no. The best way to get any water-breathing items would be on coastal cities. Um. Yeah, we're in the middle of a desert, man. Ain't nothing gonna yeah, I would. That's absurd. Yeah. Um. So, Morgana, I would. I. I. I don't disagree with that, but I do think we need some to help us breathe underwater, because that's just shining in water. Oh. Well, um. Sure well, I'm sure we can figure something out. I. That's true. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to go north? Some. Well, I selected, selected the, the Yo, I can't. You're breaking up a lot. Yeah, I was like, can anyone hear her? Barely. Uh, can you hear her now? No, like your microphone's going in and out. So we're there. We could go down <laughs> south. Not really, but... It's just a little off feedback. Yeah, it's, it just sounds like you're like talking in the bathroom, to be honest. Like, God damn it. Oh, now it's better? I don't know why. That's weird. Um, I think it's because the microphone on my computer is on the bottom of my computer. Mm. So if I have my mm. computer resting on something, Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if we go um, south, I guess there's three of them down there. Yeah. What I was going to say was, I, I don't believe I've selected my, uh, the spells I could take, or 
becoming level four. But I know that there's a water spell for druids. It's, it's called... I can't remember. You can breathe underwater and up to ten people and... Wa water breathing or something? It's, it's literally water breathing. Yeah. It's it a is a it's just called water breathing? It is a druid spell. I can look it up real quick. Yeah, that'd be great, because I have no idea what it's called, so... <sighs> Spells. It's a water breathing. Third level transmutation spell. Third level. None oh, of us damn. can third do level. that yet. I don't yet. think I can access third level spells yet until. No, ma'am. Takes one action. Spell grants up to ten willing creatures you can see within the range of the ability to breathe underwater until the spell ends, which is twenty-four hours. Well, damn. Well, that's dope. Yeah. Let's get to level five. <laughs> what can we do between this month of me making armor? <laughs> Go down south, I guess. That or find a whole bunch of rats? Oh no, boars. Am I gonna, boars. Am I gonna be buff as shit? Like, my little gnome self just making all this armor? Yeah. 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 We would just find a whole shit ton of boars? And grind out boars? Like a, oh, those, yeah! What are those things called in movies? It's not like a compilation video, but it's like a montage. I want a oh, montage damn. of just going crazy trying to get to level five in a month. <laughs> That's, yeah, let's do that. Let's montage. Working hard, a hardly working. <sighs> I, that's it for me, sorry. <laughs> okay, so you guys have come up with a bit of a plan. That's nice. Yeah, I'd like to be more. I'm not playing. there. <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> you slaying, girl. Spawn some victims. But you gonna be you gonna be there in the morning, and then you're gonna be like, I gotta make money, and all I have to do is just wear this armor. Done. Um. And then you gotta also, chill for gonna, like a month. I'm gonna like finally rest, but I think one of the things we should do. Saying this as Morgana, fine. Sorry. Um, I think. Hold on. I'm starting over because I'm confusing okay. myself. <laughs> um, I'm going to head to bed right now, but I think tomorrow we should head to the market and try to see if there's something that we can buy that allows us to breathe underwater. Uh, I don't think we'll find one. Well, you just don't believe. We can certainly try, I guess. Um, How I am long have I been at my victims? <laughs> You're long for the night. Yeah, you don't get up to the morning, girl. You slay. You slay the night. <laughs> that man regrets taking you home. Or female. <laughs> What'd you go home with? <laughs> Black centaur. I told you. Yeah, I really don't feel like breaking her. <laughs> oh no, I think you break them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know about the black centaur though. That 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 might be a challenge for you. Who do I go home with? <laughs> You're at the tavern. You are home. Well. You have your fair pickings of anybody you wish. But who do I pick? Or who, who's the lucky victim? Victims. <laughs> victim. But, as Dracaria goes on her sleigh hunt for dead victims, the rest of you in the library have managed to make some plans and figured out some manner of way where you're going to go. Until you can find some way of breathing water, the general idea is to head on south. 
Is that correct? Mm -hmm. I, I think we're heading to. Uh... Really like to go straight there. I guess we do. Straight where? Talk more. Gonna, yeah, straight. We can't see what your mouse is showing. Um, to the crater bay. Again, that's in the water. But once again, we we need some sort of way to breathe underwater because we know it's completely surrounded by water. Um. So. And I asked Josh within the next month, would we find any magical item or would a magical item come in that would let us breathe? And he's like, no, because it's a desert area. They won't, wouldn't have a lot of trade for that type okay. of... Okay, yeah, I didn't hear yeah. that. Um, so the best places to get water breathing uh, equipment would be West Reach on the westernmost coast and North Reach, which is uh, connected to Crater Bay. For any, I say... for, for any magical purchases, the best place would be to look at would be Freehold. And if you're trying to uh, sell armor for best prices, the best notion would be to go down to Hammer, which is uh, on the edge of Bannon Spire. Those would be the best options you've got. Uh, there's gonna be a few magic uh, magical. Oh fuck, dude! Hiccups are killing me. There's gonna be a few magical items here, right? Like some uncommon, maybe some common, uncommon. If you look around enough, you could probably find some. You gonna give me my favorite item in the game? There we go, bag of holding. Nah, I have Nodo's left. Do you know what it is, Nodo? I haven't had it yet. Uh, I want the rod. I want the rod. Oh, yeah. yeah. You want the, yeah. the immovable rod. I want the rod. The rod's not it's an uncommon rod. item. It is uncommon. I, it would be fine if you sell it for way more, because that's understandable, but all of us are getting a cut of platinum anyways, so, <laughs> so yeah, that's I'm, I'm willing to put so my money where my mouth is. <laughs> yeah, so that's Cyberpunk just, gets that's a 18-plus uh, rating in Brazil. The devs say, we don't fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's, is it going to be M for M or X-rated for US? Uh, or AC-17, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, what's the AC seventeen? Uh, you have to be seventeen in order to That's buy it. You cannot even have an uh, uh, an adult accompany you for M games. Even it's N NC seventeen, not AC. That's it. That's it. That yeah. is the stupidest thing I've heard. Are you yeah. kidding me? So what's the so you were one Which... year allowed to buy this game, and as soon as you turn eighteen, we can't say shit anymore. Yep. That is. The it's like, dumbest. It's like NC-17 movies. They're basically pornos, and you can't watch porn unless you're 18 and older. Softcore porn. Hot, yeah. Definitely want <laughs> it's, it's the step below X. Okay, speaking... Okay, speaking of... I don't know why I hate this, but... Okay, men and, like, females, if you enjoy, like, going to the strip club, that's awesome, but, like, what is the point? That is the stupidest thing in the world. Like, why do people go spend money? It's the companionship and the ability to have someone, even though temporarily, care about you. Yeah, I think it's, it's the. Been to the club twice, and yeah. I was not really like, I wasn't like having fun. <laughs> I don't have fun. Well, have you ever been to a male strip club? I just. It's kind of the exact thing for women. I've never been to either, so I wouldn't really know. I've heard it. I've heard it. Like at least of the females that I know that I've gone to female strip clubs, they said they've more enjoyed it because they're, it's like it feels more natural. And like at least what I've seen, like other, they relate. You know, they just start talking and asking questions, and it's like they just start talking. Yeah, it's the companionship. It's not a matter of actually being physical and actually having sex, which is what a brothel provides. But a strip club brothel. basically says. Hey, you're a hot woman. I'm a normal man, but you seem interested in me. Let's sit and talk. The stripping is just a way for them to make money. That's fair. I just don't see a point. Most people I want to see boobs. I can see boobs. 
But getting back on track. Nick Dick goes to a strip club. And that's what I think. There you go. <laughs> I mean, there is, there is a red lights district here. Well, excuse me. A red lantern. Red lantern. Ooh. Funny. But you all settle down for the night. Dracaria has her hunting spree. And There's no settlement in her night. Nihilus has uh, jotting down some spells and writing more into his book. Nyx made a plan. Uh, Morgana has nestled down for the night. Uh, Bordell and Ashgrey have taken to their quarters. And we will close it there. We will see what the next day brings. So, for everyone watching, thank you, Joe, for joining us. We appreciate that. We will be back here next week. This VOD will be on my YouTube channel within the day. And we will see you guys next time. This 20 is warm and stay safe.